And now we're going to start with the admin panel. And we're also going to going to mention some of the things that we discussed earlier regarding uh, OS configuration, the content management system, as well as um, other configuration options for the for the website for both the casino and the sportsbook website. For instance, this is the user management module. This is how this is how the user module looks like, and we can search for users. We can show a, a brief list of users based on the uh, search terms we can also we can also delete or suspend or add bonuses to a number of users in one shot we can select the accounts that we like to we like to to work with and they just you know just add credit or do whatever we want to do to them or we can also we can also open a user account for uh, further information i'm going to i'm going to open my my own demo account right now there we go. And I'm going to go to my user profile and maybe add a note over here so that my, my colleagues will know what, uh, what this account is for and what, you know, who created it. I can also delete some, delete some of the notes. I had this one, for instance, was in, was I also had a copy and we didn't want that. Now I can also send myself a text message in case I just got a bonus. I hope you get messages like this as well as often as as possible. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to discuss a little bit about uh, how balance is shown to the web on on the websites. So uh, our websites operate on both prepaid and uh, credit model so we can we can uh, we can create create a user account and deposit manually when they when they pay in cash or allow them to process payments using credit cards or e-wallets but at the same time we can also work on credit on a credit based model where the, where we issue a line of credit to each one of the customers and at the end of the week or at the end of the month they have to pay for whatever they wagered or they have to collect whatever their earnings were. Of course, this is something that we don't really we don't really see now in 2013. Some some of our clients are using it. Um, most most uh, most websites out there do not. And I would say this is very popular. This was or still is very popular in, throughout the United States. But just in case it's needed, we also offer this. And of course, this is the real balance. So this is for. This is for a prepay model, which is how most of the websites are operating. This is where I can also suspend an user account. I can also, as we've seen earlier, I can also add money or remove money. I can check the list of bets. For instance, uh, let's see if I have any spending bets. Let's see if I won something. Yeah, I've won some bets a while ago. And I've also visited some pages in the meanwhile. For instance, uh, throughout our presentation, we've been going through a number, a number of pages on uh, our demo site, bedvault.com, and this is this is where it, this is where it's showing what I've been doing, and the requests that I've been making, and this can also be exported through the API for further reporting and analytics. And I can also edit the user account if I wanted to. I can change the name. Can change pretty much anything that I want to change. Now, going back to the admin panel, since we're done with the users, I'm going, I'm going with the users module, I'm going to go to transactions. Trans transactions is where we see every single operation, every single action users do on a website. For instance, deposit money. When you deposit money, it will generate a, a transaction over here in the log. When you withdraw money, it will generate a tr another transaction. When you transfer money to user accounts through the API in and out of the user accounts, it's going to generate a transaction log. Same for winnings, same for casino games, same for pretty much everything that is happening in the, in the sportsbook casino or in any external application such as live dealer games or pretty much any kind of application that's integrated with our database so uh the transaction log is where uh, is where uh, all this information will be found at any time and uh, the transaction log is also searchable for i'm 
going to I'm going to open this in just a second. I'm going to open for for one of our websites. I'm going to open the transaction log and filter the data. And let's say for instance betvault.com and I'm going to move this to my to my presentation screen. There we go. So this is this is an example of uh, this is an example of uh, transaction log like this. You can see gaming over here. You can see a lot of things that are that are happening on this website. And I can also go to the next page, and I can go to the next page, and so on and so forth. And it also gives me at the bottom of the at the bottom of the page, it gives me some brief statistics: how much uh, how much money was debited from user accounts, how much money was credited, and uh, what was the success ratio if we had any transactions that failed, and that we wanna we wanna pay attention to. And of course, we can also filter this down further by the type of transaction by the status of, of the transaction failed deposits for instance we want to keep an eye out for those because it means that users are trying to be naughty which is not something that we want or allow but uh, nevertheless this is the transaction log and all the information that you see on the screen can also be exported and accessed externally through throughout our api and we'll be discussing our api shortly now we're going we're getting closer to the content management system which is um, which is actually a very very good tool that allows you to create pages static pages on your website to inject static content to any any of the on any of the sports book or casino game sections for instance this is a cms page and this has been created with the content management system that we're going to show you that my colleague Ben is going to demonstrate in just a, in just a few minutes and uh, this is the marketing tools section within the content management system which, con which contains a list a list of uh, uh, text links that users can uh, can use to, that site operators can use to promote their website as well as banner ads and you can upload banner ads over here that are being tracked and cookied so that we know uh, which user came from which affiliate of your website and who the who the referral bonus gets credited to so this is also this is also something that you can manage from within the api the content management system and also the api later on we'll get uh, we'll get to the to discuss the api as well now this is how the content manage the content management pages the content management uh, system looks for a static page that shows a bunch of uh, casino games that should preload as we can see we can also embed tags we have a tag language tags are always enclosed by square brackets like this and we can include uh, all sorts of variables username user email address user id and all sorts of things and i'm going to demonstrate i'm going to demonstrate how to extend the product by integrating remote code and remote applications using uh, using the content management system um, right now however i'm going to pass this presentation to my colleague bilen who will um, who will demonstrate how to create a static page for um, for for bedvault.com which uh, which will contain images as well as uh, css style sheets and html code so i'm going to swap presenter now bilan the presentation is yours <laughs> 